Hi, so in our last video we created the box entity and positioned the camera so we could see it in the scene. In this video we'll add a new material to this box. First I need to upload some assets. You'll find these assets on the developer website under the introduction video and I'll put the link in the YouTube comments. Here are the three textures. We have one diffuse color map, one normal map, and one specular map. And I can just drag them into the asset view to upload them. When they're uploaded, they'll appear in the texture in the asset box for the designer. And if I click refresh, it should update the, the uh, thumbnails too. Now, to edit the material, first select the entity that you wish to edit the material on. Now, there are two ways to access the material. I can either left click again on a selected entity, which will select the mesh I click on, or I can right click and select edit material. The primitive shapes don't have a material on them by default, so we need to create a new one. Click the create material button and that will create a new material. Now I'll just give it a, a recognizable name like ground. And now we just have to add the different textures to the right slots. So in the diffuse, I'll add the diffuse map. I'm going to change the tiling to be 2020. Then in the specular, I'll add the specular map. And again, I want to change the tiling to be 2020. And finally, the normals, I'll add the normal map. And once more, I'll set the scale, the tiling to be 2020. And now if we get up close, you can see the normals and the uh, specular mapping on there. That's how easy it is to create and edit a material. In the next tutorial, we'll talk about uploading a 3D model.